splendid little Christmas dress. <laughs> Today is one of those days when we all give each other's each other Christmas presents and presents um, because we're celebrating a birthday. And very frequently we're not giving the person whose birthday it is, the present itself. And that's because what he does is that on this day, and in fact on every day, he gives himself to us. It's the other way around. His birthday, he gives himself to us. Those 2,000 years ago, more than that really, much more than 2,000 years ago, when the shepherds saw the angel in the fields and they came hurrying into Bethlehem to see a small child laid in a manger on the side of a cave, filthy, dirty, horrible animal cave. I know what they're like, I've been in one. They're a dreadful place, awful place to be born. When they came there, they bowed down and they worshipped the Lord and they offered themselves to him. And he, of course, gave himself to them. A bit later, somewhat later, when the wise men, they were not able to see the angels. The angels they could not see. They were not of the chosen people. But they looked into the sky and there they saw the stars and amongst the stars they saw the message that told them that Christ was going to be born. And they set out and they arrive sometime <coughs> after he is born, up to two years later. We're not quite sure how long. And when they come in, they offer them, offer to him symbols of who he is, the gold, because he is king of the universe and created all things. Frankincense, because he is God. He is God himself, worthy of our adoration and worship and myrrh because he has come to die for the whole world, to set us free from sin. And they also bow down to the ground and they worship him also, because he is God and their king and their saviour. They understand far more than the shepherds did, but the shepherds, they receive the message directly into their hearts. And today also, if you were to look on the pattern or the this goss is the plate on which the bread is placed. On that is an icon of the cave. And in it you can see Mary and Joseph and right in the centre, our Lord, just having been born. And their shepherds and the star and so on. And on that we then place the bread and next to it we place the wine. Today on this Christmas day, the Lord has chosen this place to appear among us again. And today, as in each time he comes during the Holy Communion, he has offered himself to you. If you refuse it, you have refused the greatest gift you could have had today. And the sad part is that within this parish, within this area, this mission itself, there are 500,000 people who have refused it today. But thank God, there are many people in this room who have received him into their hearts. He has offered you himself. He has come right into you to be born within you. Let him stay there. Christ is born. Let us glorify him within our hearts, within our lives, within our homes, within our communities, within this parish. Let us glorify him within the world in our service system and to the ends of the cosmos. Amen. Amen.